Welcome to Let's Play Death of a Lich. Continuing, continuing in the string of Daniel Linson's games for Ludum Dare, this is his entry in LD33 under the theme, You Are the Monster. So just as a reminder, this was made by one person in 48 hours, and they could use no pre-made resources. That said, I do think this is an exceptionally impressive game. It won third place overall. Did I say that already? Won third place overall. Third place. This is a reminder, there's like a thousand people who entered, so that's cool. Third? Three? Um... So the short of it is, as a lich, you are immortal. You cannot be killed. However, each time you're defeated, it takes you a number of years in order to respawn. So the people take your crown, which is what you use to respawn, and they put it at the very top of a tower. And so every time you come back, you've got to fight your way down that tower in order to get on with your reign of terror. So this, so this is the tutorial, and this is the tower. And look at all that moving we can do. So the more people you kill, the better off you are next run. Yeah, so you see the one bouncing up and down, he's ready to move. The one up in the upper right is not, and you can see they have a little star twirling around their head. So after I move once, these guys will move once every other turn. So now the guy on the bottom is twirly and the guy on the top is animated. You attack things by ramming into them. And when you do that, you do damage to them and they do damage to you. Even if you do enough damage to kill them in one go, you will take damage. As you can see there, and they will go after you do. So effectively, if you move into someone's range while they can move, they will attack you. Now the nice thing about the archers is they don't fight back. If you get up and hit them, man, look at that arrow go. It's also good for strategic moving, if you perhaps don't necessarily need to move this turn, but you feel like moving two spaces next turn. Because you get up and you go, whoop. And now with four attack. Oh, can I just...
So the ones with the red shirts are the easiest to kill, green next, and then the white armored ones are some of the hardest. And I think blue are all archers. So that's good to know that you can take him out just like that. But yeah, um, you can't go down. There's more tower below, but we can't get to it because this is the tutorial. So meanwhile, back in the game. So this is kind of a... This is kind of a roguelike in that it's a very short game, but you're intended to play through it multiple times, and it's randomly generated, and you'll probably die. So that's cool. But you want to kill a lot of people along the way. So let's look at where I am and what I can do. Um, enemies will not move on the floors below you, though you can see the white markers for where you're going to jump down to. You can jump down two floors. So if I wanted to, I could say... No, I don't think I can do that. Or that. I could jump over the edge here, which would send me through the hole on the floor below, and onto the floor, one down still. I'm gonna try to kill somebody along the way. Now I'm gonna have a lot of people on my trail. I'd like to kill that person, but I'm not going to be able to. But I also kind of want that heart. I cannot go up through that hole. So that's cool. I can get this heart, but it's not actually going to help me at all. Or I could jump down two. See, so, you know, he's stunned, so I can move here without getting hit, and then jump down here. And now I'm good. Okay. Cool beans! Okay, so that, um, that dot on the far right is attack up, which I would like, but it's going to be very difficult for me to get to it. That's a lot of guys, and I only have four hits. And no matter what I do, I'm not killing four... I'm not killing that many guys. The archers, maybe... Like, I could maybe take the top route, but I think it'd be better just to skip it entirely. So I should probably try to jump down and kill one of these people, and then get the crap out of dodge. So I cannot jump through that hole. Well, we're going to have to do it one way or the other. Yeah, I can't make it through that hole. So I'm going to have to go a pretty good distance one way or the other. All right. Now, nah, between the two archers and that heavy, heavy guy, I'm not going for it. I'm just going to jump down. And I may just jump down. Even this guy, though this guy is stunned, if I attack him, I will get hurt back. And I only have the one attack, so it's going to take two turns to kill him anyway. Killing more guys is better, but also is not dying. I'm just going to jump down. And again... And again, but now I'm going to go run down here and grab this. And I'm going to kill your sorry butt. So I could move... I can jump down here and skip the floor below me.
Let's just jump one down from here. I may do that, actually, because that'll get me down here. These are all archers, too, so I can just, like... Yeah, look at all those souls I'm getting. Archers are nice. Um, okay, so I can kill Red Shirt here. Red Shirts are the easiest to go down. Um, I find it interesting if that is... Whether that is intended or not to be a Star Trek reference. Um, funny thing about the Star Trek thing, the reason the Red Shirts always died first is because they were security. Security wore Red Shirts. Of course they're going to die first. They're the ones going head first in to try to protect everybody. Um, so I could kill him. In fact, I may. Yeah, I'm just going to kill him. And then I'm going to grab you. No archers, so nothing to worry about there. I can jump down two floors. There's nothing on the floor below me unless I want to try to kill that guy. Which I can't easily. So I'm just going to go... I don't know why I was expecting to fall. Well, let's just go down here. Oh, I can kill somebody if I jump down here. Eat it. Oh man, we're nearing the ground. I can see the ground. Heck yeah. Oh, that looks pleasant. Um, I would like, if at all possible, to see what that Grim Reaper has in store for me. Because that's, uh, that's a lot of guys down there on the ground, and I feel like they're just going to kill me outright. Okay, so if I just jump down here... Get that, and then I can get the crap out of dodge. Get down here and say, what's up, dude? Do I, like, kill you? Oh, you're a tutorial guy. Here's the thing. No matter what happens, you can't get past this next floor. Because you can't go over the sides that way. So all you can do is jump down onto that floor, where there's no way further down. Yeah, you could try to fight them all off, I guess. 20 souls, that's a lot. Well, I'm going to try to take out a couple of them with me. Got him. All right, so I'm not going to try to run through this and get all 20 souls, but that's the end. Um, you get as far as you can with as much as you can, and if you can get there with 20 souls, apparently you get some other ending that I haven't seen. But if you want to check this out, you can. It's up on... I don't know if it's up on itch.io, but it is at the very least. You can find it on Ludum Dare's site um, as one of Manigore's games. I'll have a link to it in the beta video description if you want to check it out. This has been... Let's play... Death of a Lich. 
Until next time, everybody.